All right, so we're trying to scan for laminations today. For a lamination scan, you're typically going to need a zero degree probe and you will be scanning whatever part. For this purpose, I just have a, a plate with some uh, simulated laminations in it. On site, it will look a lot different, but the procedure should stay the same. So we add some coupling to the plate and of course, remember the same coupling that you used for calibration. And then we set our sensitivity according to what the specification will say. So the specification should tell you uh, DAC if that's needed or a certain backwall echo at a certain height. Uh, you will just set your sensitivity according to the specification. Now, detecting a lamination is fairly simple. We know this plate is about 25 mils thick and we can see from our echo here the measurement is 24.8 which means it's about 25 millimeters or one inch thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan and we're going to look for defects that pop up between our initial pulse and our first back wall echo. That's basically the area where we are looking. So I'm going to scan, I'll scan, I'll scan and eventually have a look at this back wall echo. It drops away and an echo comes up before it. So there's a lamination there. We can also see the lamination since it's a straight beam. It's about 14.7 millimeters deep underneath the surface. And congratulations, we found it. Now to size it, they'll typically ask you to employ uh, the si a sizing technique according to procedure. For the purpose of this, we're just going to use the equalization technique. So I look at my back wall echo and where it drops and the lamination echo comes up and they equalize, I will make a dot. I'll lift my probe up and in the center of where my probe was on the plate, I make a little dot. I go just next to that dot and I try and do the same thing. So I move my probe a little bit. I find the place where they equalize. I lift it up and I make a dot. It's very important to keep your eyes here and here. So it takes some getting used to. So you have your back wall echo, it will drop away, it will pop up. You lift it up in the center, you make a little dot. You can keep doing this to get the size of the lamination. Sometimes it's a little bit sensitive. Just take your time, make sure there's no probe rock. Lift it up, make a little dot. There we can see they equalize. Lift it up, make a little dot. All right, so once we're complete, we have a rough size of our lamination, which you can measure once again to get the depth. You can just put the probe anywhere on the lamination should give you the depth of the lamination. Now I only did the one for this exercise, but if we turn the plate over, we should see more or less the same size that we had here. This is a very rough estimate. Uh, if you do this, I recommend you do this with a much finer marker than a small piece of chalk, or at least sharpen your chalk. It's just to give you a basic idea of how to size and work with the lamination.